لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما واضلال أخبر الأيام أنها في وصال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wonderful people my lovely viewers amazing subscribers and everyone in here thanks for clicking again i appreciate you all if you are new here you're welcome inshallah today i'm going to be talking about the niqab and the hijab which is better as for the niqab according to the scholars they said it is better than the hijab the more a Muslim covers, the more better she is. The more you are closer to covering, the more better you are. So no doubt about the niqab being better than hijab or not. But what I would like us to know is, is the niqab obligatory? Is the niqab obligatory? Is it a must? Is it found upon every Muslim? Is it a must? Or sunnah. Also, the hijab. Is the hijab a must? Is it fard? Is it obligatory? Or sunnah? Allah said in Surah An-Nur, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَبْدُدْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُجَهُنَّ وَلَا يُبِدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَلَا يُبِدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا they shouldn't disclose their adornments except that which appears thereof. Adornment means anything that beautifies a woman, anything that makes her beautiful. In this ayah, we have different opinions. The first opinion says, They translated it as, We shouldn't disclose any part of our body because our body is our beauty including the face and the hands. They said we should cover every part of the body, including the face and hands. Except the ones that appears thereof, except the ones that opens after being covered. That's the first opinion. Why the second opinion translated it in a different meaning, they said, they also agreed. They said every Muslim woman must be covered. From her head to toes must be covered. But she can leave the face and the hands. Because the face are the ones that appears there of. Except the ones that appears there of. They said the face and the hands are the ones that appears there of she can live so the first one said we should cover every part of the body those are the ones that indicate the niqab they said including the face and hands they indicate the niqab as found as a must for every muslim woman why the second indicate the hijab as found they said we can cover every part but we can leave the face and the hands those are the ones that said the hijab is found is a must but putting on niqab is better. Yeah. The wives of the Prophet, Umaratul Muhminin, they all put on their niqabs, they all wear their niqab. So if any Muslim wish to be like them, to imitate them, definitely is better than the hijab. But the hijab and niqab is also acceptable. They both have the lil from the Quran. The two scholars, they gave evidence, reference from the Quran. As a Muslim, we go by the one that is more easy. Is it the niqab? If the niqab is more easy, we can go for it. And if you find the hijab easy, hijab is anything that protects, that hides, that covers. So when putting on hijab, ensure you are being protected by it. You are hiding your body and you are being covered. Hijab is more than just the headscarf we know about or talk about. Hijab must be long. It must not be tight. Hijab must not be short. Some people put on short scarf, which expose their body. That is not hijab. 
Hijab must cover every part of the body. You can leave the face and hands, but every other part must be covered. I hope you all understand this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.